Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you're here to join me for some jewelry reveals, I guess. I have not seen everything that's in this beautiful box. And I also wanted to show you some things that I won from um, auction. And this beautiful box was won in a contest over at April's channel, Bougie Bear. She gave this away uh, with a trivia question last week. And I was kind of on a roll last week and won quite a few prizes. I'm so excited. That is the first one to arrive from the prizes anyway. So I'm anxious to see what's in it. I have not opened it. And um, I also wanted to show you some other things that I got at some other auctions here on YouTube. And um, all of that. So let's start with... Let me see if I have... A, there's a few things that aren't here. For example, I got two of these from Lori at Creative Lori. I think she let these go for about $15, and there was another one with it. So my husband took that one. <laughs> I was going to give these to my mother, both of them, but that one fit in very nicely. It was like an adjustable one, so I thought it would probably be too big for my mother, so I'm going to give this one to my mother. And... Um, let me just take a minute to say hello to some people in the chat, and then we'll get started. Again, these were all some um, auctions here on YouTube that have been a lot of fun lately. I hope you guys have enjoyed them as well. Different people have had different um, times. Um, well, pretty much all week long, you can find an auction. <laughs> and then a few people are starting them on um, Facebook as well. I'm still in the works on mine. So I will get back to you with that. If I haven't answered your emails, it's because I haven't had a chance, but I will indeed as soon as I can. And be sure and check your spam folders because my auction will also very likely be coming probably next week sometime, if not the 1st of April. But um, let me say hi to Pamela is here. I think I saw Princess Casserole. Carla Perla is here and Vicky and Gail and Melissa. I did send out your box today, Melissa. Can't wait for you to see what's in it. And uh, Sanja's here as well. Deb, how are you, Debbie? Deb's Treasures. She had a pop-up sale today, too. Of course, by the time I saw it on the way home from work, everything was gone. because She had some fabulous things, but I'm sure she'll be bringing more to, to you guys. So be sure and subscribe to Debbie there at Deb's Treasures. Okay, look at this fabulous ring. Before we look in this green box, which I have not looked in it yet, look at this amazing ring that I got at 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> over at Creative Lori's. It came in this gorgeous box. It is a um, black spinel, Thailand. And um, this is what I was talking about in my A-listers, about how I fell in love with this ring when she was showing it so wonderfully and described all of the gallery, as she called it. And the intricate design on the shoulders there, or what I call the shank, just amazing. It's huge. It, it, oh my gosh, it's just so amazing when you, when you exceed your expectations or exceeded rather. It's just so wonderful. It really sits up nice and tall. Very, very perfect fit really it's a size six and it's a little big on the other hand but perfect on the right hand so i absolutely loved it and i think she even had some blue spinel that night this is the black and then someone i believe it was uh, patricia even linked a video for everyone to watch and it was wonderful learning about all the ways the, all the beautiful colors that this stone comes in and um how how difficult it is to to excavate and harvest these as well wow so i was just amazed and i, don't, I think it was under 40 dollars that i paid for this I believe it was around uh, close to 40 it wasn't even over 40 dollars. it was just so beautiful sterling silver thailand and again just look at the size of that it didn't even look that big i guess because you know, it looks big when you show it up close and then she put it on and it didn't fit her. So she put it on like up here by her, the top of her hand, her finger. But oh my gosh, I just fell in love with it. So I got that and then I got the two bracelets for 15. This was also from her. So that's Creative Lori. And she now has a new channel called Creative Lori Jewelry and Gems because she has a 
regular creative channel where she does a lot of wonderful crafty things. She shows people how to stage their homes for sale and all of that. So she's got a really intricate channel and we've seen her on MSP as well. Guys, if you are new to the channel, we do talk a lot about jewelry here. I'm doing a jewelry kind of a show and tell that I'm going to show you some prizes that I wanted to give away. I'm going to show you what I want at auction, but we often unjar videos here, unjar jewelry jars and unbag jewelry bags and all of that. So if you love talking and looking at jewelry, this is your place. We also um, do videos from my favorite thrift stores, garage sales and so forth. I'm still editing the sales video because I can't wait to show you the wonderful sales that went on this past month. I haven't been up there they haven't been up there in a month and I have gotten quite a few inquiries from subscribers that are interested in what they see in my hauls. And if you're ever interested in anything, be sure and just shoot me an email or just leave a comment and then I'll give you the email. But I'm going to try to start getting the email posted in all of my videos because I don't have that uh, as a default mode yet. I really just haven't taken the time to learn how to do all of that to uh, so I can, you know, get you guys uh, contact information. All right. So that was the beautiful ring from her and two bracelets. And like I said, my husband kept the other one. It was really nice. It had like two knots and then you could adjust it. So it's like a bangle, but it's like a woven copper wire. And we're both really into the healing properties of the copper, as is my mother. So this one actually has brass and it's like a sun motif. And I love the way that the, it actually sits off to the side. The, the little design actually sits off to the side. So it's going to be a really nice fit. My mother does have a little bit larger arm hands than I do and wrists. And um, she does have arthritis as well. So I think that'll look pretty and she's going to really enjoy that. All right. Then I wanted to show you these up close again. If you didn't see these, these are the BSK and how pretty they are. I am going to list these today. These came out of a jar just recently and I was so excited to get these because they're so different with the ab stones and the pearls hey vanessa how are you so i really really do like that a lot wanted to update you with that one as well and then this is what i got from sandy's auction last friday and i do moderate her auction so i will I call and moderate her auction tomorrow night at 7 p.m and i have linked her channel many times in my videos but that's just sandy and this was, I believe, a Mexican piece, if I'm not mistaken, or there was no signature. But to me, it looks very, very much like a 1930s or 40s Mexican piece in the school of Breitling or Balestros or something like that. I just love it. I would have loved it as a ring, too. <laughs> but I think it's just so gorgeous. This is onyx. And it's a gorgeous brooch. I just love this. I mean, modern yet almost indigenous, I would have to say, because I know that the the artists from the um, 30s and 40s and 50s, Aratasco, they really use the motifs of the indigenous peoples in their in their designs. That was really their inspiration. So that's kind of what this reminds me of, very much pre-Hispanic Mexican motifs and all of that i just adore it i think it's so pretty i don't even remember what i paid for it but i know that it was one of the first things that came out so the bids were a little low and i didn't have much competition so i grabbed it as soon as i could that was actually a lot it was this and then this beautiful little x x i guess it's hearts and kisses sterling bracelet as well nice link bracelet on here that was also from sandy's auction hey cc how are you Little Sister is here as well. And um, let me see who else popped in. I think that's it. Looks like 60 people are watching, guys. Thanks so much. Be sure and hit that thumbs up when you walk in the door or before you leave. And then I've also been helping a, a woman, young lady in the, in the um, YouTube world who started auctioning. And her channel name is Autumn Grace. And I think it's Miss Martha. And I got this from her, guys. And again, always, always exceeding my expectations, you guys, with your wonderful auctions. Look at this beautiful piece. This looks so Egyptian. Look at that. This is the deepest purple you've ever seen. And it is very, very nicely made. It's very heavy. I love it. I just love it. 
And I got that from her, gosh, I think for $5. It was an incredible buy. I also got some copper bracelet from her, which I also gave away. It was kind of um, kind of a simple copper piece. Really nice, though. I think it was actually copper and brass. I don't remember. But this one, oh, my gosh. It just did, it did not even do it justice on the camera. I think I asked her several times what color it was because it looked kind of black. But look at that deep, beautiful purple. And she is quite the connoisseur aficionado. She's always over at Makeup Zombies channel, which also does a Sunday showcase sale, 4 p.m. Central. Look at that. Isn't that rich? Very heavy, guys. I can't even believe it. It's so well made. Look at that. No marker I, that I know of. I don't think it has any maker mark on it. But again, that's from Autumn Grace, and she's been doing late night auctions, but she only stays on there an hour. She just gets it done and goes, pulls out her beautiful collection, and we we are the benefactors, let me tell you. We really are, because she's got beautiful things. Totally love it. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm going to wear this probably tomorrow to work. Friday's a good day to dress up. Everybody thinks it's casual Friday, but not me. I'm going glam tomorrow wearing that. All right, then I got this gorgeous brooch from Hip Flippin' Mama. That's Kelly. And she also started doing auctions, and this is a Monet piece. And it, it, it the camera still doesn't do it justice. It looks, I don't know, it kind of looks discolored. It's not. It is in absolutely immaculate condition. Such a beautiful motif there, floral motif. I just think it's so, it's simple, yet because of all of that intricate metal work, it just pops. Oh my gosh, is it buffering really? Oh, I hate that. Did that just start? Hmm. <laughs> Let me know if it's still buffering, guys. I was telling you about this gorgeous brooch from Hip Flippin' Mama, Kelly. I got that from her. And then she was kind enough to send me this little freebie. Which is so cute. Good, 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 good. Oh, good. I'm glad. I get so upset when that buffering starts. And I don't... I think this is soda light. I told her I was going to see if, if Sandy could make it into a ring. It's a heart. But it'd make a nice worry... worry what is it called? Worry stone, right? Because I just love the way stones feel. And I think it's soda light. Very, very cold very big and substantial and pretty and she just put that in my box as a little freebie wasn't that nice just love it yeah it does look like soda like that's what i think it's so pretty and then i'm thinking maybe someone could wrap it as well you know like a little wrap ring but it's just got such beautiful coloration on it i just want to carry it around and hold it it's so pretty also got these earrings from her. I think this was actually in a lot. I think, I don't even remember. I frequent these auctions, guys, and then I forget. <laughs> but these are super cute. They are sort of a champagne-colored CZs there with some, I think they're faux pearls, but they're also kind of a, a little bit darker than champagne. And she loves to wrap everything so securely. I'm, real, I'm very appreciative of that. Got that one. And then this also came from Miss Autumn Grace, and it is not magnetized. I don't know if it's pewter or what, but I love the um, also the pre-Hispanic design on there. I thought that was just so cool. So I got that one too. I think this one was only three or four. I don't remember. I, I think I only paid her about $10 plus shipping for those beautiful bracelets. But isn't that pretty too? Again, that was from Autumn Grace. And she is here on YouTube as well. She's sometimes in the chat. Now let's look and see what I won from, isn't this a beautiful box? First of all, that's what I really fell in love with. Though it was a contest and I was the first one to answer a very fun trivia question, which was what two colors make green? <laughs> and I saw this and I was like, oh, I love that for my daughter. That would be so cool. And then she even filled it with nice trinkets. So it's actually plastic. I thought it was glass. And I still, like, I keep checking it because it's so faceted and stuff that it looks like glass. It's so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. I know she collects trinket boxes, though. April does. I, I remember when I first started watching her channel. 
she would show them and she would give away little prizes and stuff in her trinket boxes and auction off. And again, she's auctioning on Facebook now and she's still here on YouTube doing Monday night, every alternate Monday night, her and Casey over at Geisha. Treasures do an auction as well. And I was at her auction tonight over at Facebook. It was fabulous. She had wonderful things. Definitely um, top shelf items. <laughs> and just really unique sterling pieces. And, you know, more of your, your semi-precious and gemstone stuff. Okay, look at this. That's pretty. That's a very nice beaded necklace. I like that. I love the colors. My school colors were gray, red and gray at one time, my elementary. Well, I went to a Catholic school, so they, they basically went from kindergarten to to 12th grade. <laughs> so, yeah, our school colors were red and gray. That is so pretty. I like them. There's some glass in here and kind of a gunmetal color. So that's really nice. And then we have some green with some hematite little nuggets on a barrel clasp. That's nice. This looks like a little anklet, actually. It's kind of big. Pretty. And oh, we have the matching bracelet to the necklace. That is so pretty. I love that combination of colors. Can you guys see that okay? I can't even see it on my screen. Coloration seems funny. Hey, Patricia, how are you? Did you check your spam folder, Patricia? Because I've sent you the invitation probably three times. Check it again. And if you guys do want to be a part of the, uh, the auction that I'm going to do, you need to email me at thelmahordes at gmail.com. Look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, where's the other one? These are so cute. This is just... Oh my gosh, I think these are, they look like diamonds to me. I'm going to check them. Maybe she accidentally left them in here, guys. What do you think? Look at that. Aren't those cute? They have like tiny little diamond chips. I'll have to check with her. Maybe this is her stuff. I don't know. It seems awfully nice for a prize, but I mean, we do give good prizes here, don't we? I know I like to give good prizes. Yes, I saw you, Vanessa, finally. You got your Facebook in order. These are so pretty, guys. They're probably some kind of CZ or something. They really are cute. They're articulated and they dangle. And they're so dainty. Dainty earrings look really nice. I should start wearing them more often. <gasps> look at that. That is the most unique brooch I've ever seen. Not only is it a clown, it's Mother of Pearl, and he's playing the drums. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you, Carla. No rush at all. Yeah, I'm telling you, I was on a roll last week. I won about four four or five prizes. I even gave one, what do you call it, paid it forward. <laughs> and on, um, yeah, it was on Bougie's. No, I won on Bougie's, and then I won on uh, Cindy's, and I won two times. But I said, I'll just take the first one and give the other one to the next person that that won. These are. This is such a cute brooch, guys. It has no maker on it. I, I happen to like clowns. I think they're very cute. They make me happy when I see them. They don't scare me. <laughs> I don't think they're creepy. I love Mother of Pearl. I love brooches. <laughs> I just love them. Thank you, Carla. I appreciate that. And then here's one of these little bar. What does it say? It says peace. How pretty is that? Oh, I love that. I love these bars. And I really want to get, want to get one of those big ones across that that go this way but this is different i really like the way they look nice pretty chain it's got this looks like a j crew or something i don't know why it's got a fancy little ding, dangle on it oh you're welcome jennifer <laughs> you're the one that got it from cindy though right because i think vita mccoy got the one i gave up because i gave I, I won two on Cindy's too, and I gave one up, and then I won two. Two. Well, they're both Cindy. There's Cindy the jewelry nurse and Cindy Levin, who's who loves jewelry. And on both of those, I won twice, and on both of those, I gave up one of them because I figured I'm drowning in jewelry too. <laughs> but I do love it, and I love opening it, and I love this. 
I've been in the into the gold lately, guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, my daughter's going to steal that one. She loves these geodes or whatever they're called. Slices. I forget. Wow, that is gorgeous. And that is like the perfect size. That is like the perfect size. I was wearing these two today. Let me show you. And it's interesting when people notice your jewelry, right? The science teacher. <laughs> the science teacher noticed that I was wearing jade and the turquoise. And I was like, I just put them on in the morning when I'm sleepy. And I'm like, yeah, I think this looks all right. And then I put on my little spider web. So this one hung a little bit longer. And then I was wearing these earrings I found in the jar yesterday. <laughs> and he's like, I love the way you wear all those colors and they just look so great together. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I wore today. That was the jewelry of the day. Let's keep going in this pretty little trinket box. See what else is in here. Oh, these are cute too. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. You see some secretary wearing these back in the 60s. I can. That's what I think about. They're not secretaries anymore. Administrative assistants. That's what they are now. Oh, these are signed. Let's see what they say. Let me see. They say Hong Kong. Yes, they're vintage indeed. They're so cute. And I do wear the clip-ons, but I can only wear them so long. Then they really hurt. But I do like wearing them. I don't know if the other one is in here. I'm sure it is. Maybe I dropped it. But that's pretty, too. A little small. Blue. Oh, here it is. There they are. These little ones are so cute. My daughter has short hair, and she loves wearing these small ones. The speech therapist wears the prettiest, tiniest Kendra Scott. She had some on yesterday. They were post, but they were so small and green. Oh, my gosh, I fell in love with them. Look at these. These are amazing. These are really cute. Yes, the olive green kitchen and the huge yellow phone. We had a yellow phone that reached all around the kitchen. <laughs> It had that extra long coil. Did you guys have that? I know Carla doesn't remember that because Carla's only, what, like 31? <laughs> At least she looks it. <laughs> but, yeah, we had that extra long cord that would reach all the way around the, the kitchen area. And, um, yeah, but the phone stayed right there on the wall. That's crazy. Aren't those the cutest things ever? I just love them. Did you guys see the ring from Creative Lori, the black spinel? Spinel? See, I don't even know how to say it. I was actually asking her to tell me about the stone. And then Patricia was nice enough to link it. A really interesting video. And then I went down a rabbit hole of videos. I've been watching nothing but gemstone videos and one about... Um, one in particular uh, that's put out by National Geographic. And oh my gosh, I've been I've been stuck watching those videos all night. They're so interesting. They are just so amazing. All right, you guys want to open a little jar? Are we getting any? Um, are we getting any buffering? We can open a little jar if you want, and we can uh, maybe build another lot while we do it. Isn't it gorgeous, Mary? I just love it. It's from Creative Lori, and um, I, again, I was in her one of her. What was it? A pop up sale, I guess. It wasn't an auction. It was a pop up sale, and it was at. Three o'clock in the morning. Yes, and she's like, let me pull out a spinel. And then I'm like, wow, let me look at that again. And it was my size. So she has all sizes, right? And she happened to pull out a size six. And then someone else was saying they, they, their favorite is blue spinel. And then someone else said red. And then Patricia was in there that night. And so then she pulled out all kinds of beautiful things. Whoa, all kinds of beautiful things. And... Um, yeah, that she does have a new channel though now, guys. Let me grab a jar real quick. A small one if I have it. Actually, there's a loose one here. This one. I want to open this one because it's very loose. And it was the only bag. They had all jars. So let's open this one. It looks like we can get through it before bedtime. 
and then I wasn't really planning on opening one, but this jewelry show went quick pretty quickly. And I hate to let y'all go. Y'all just got here. Be sure and hit the thumbs up, though, if you do got to go. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, they brought back the jars for us. But they did bring out this one loose bag, and they never do loose bags. And then I was like, eh, I don't know if it looks that great, because I could kind of jiggle it around, but I just couldn't leave it, guys. I just couldn't leave it. It's only seven. Hi, Guillermo. Thank you for being here. Yeah, you're lucky you're over there in California. It's always early in California. Oh, this is why I got it. Look at these beads. That's why I went ahead and got it. Okay, this is imitation. But it's definitely a substantial piece. What in the world? Is this like a fake nose ring or something? Or does it come apart there? No, it's a ring. I guess you squeeze it. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. But so it's some Southwest stuff. I think I'm going to put that in a jewelry lot. A little bangle. These are plastic, but they're very nice. Beads. Kind of aqua color. Actually, the, the silver ones are metal. The rest are plastic. All right. A hoop, kind of copper colored. Oh, this is pretty. This is a pretty, what is it? It's like a chain stuck in there, but it's an earring. This is insane how things get so tangled. There it goes. These are exotic, look at those. Those are really cool. Hi, Groovy Granny, how are you? Yeah, I'm going to list that bracelet. If I don't put it in a jewelry lot, I'm going to probably list it for a month or two on Posh because I do sell imitation turquoise on Posh. People love the look. This is a very pretty bracelet. Little bugle beads. It's a little loose. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. What do you think? Probably. It's got an interesting look like that. I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Hey, Sunflower. How are you? So that's kind of cool. Not bad. Aw, a little girl's stretchy with a gold bow. That's cute. I like that. And it's a little mother of pearl here. It's sticking out there. But let me try to untangle this first. Oh, you were at jur jury duty? That's not fun, huh? Here's a, I think this is a faux turquoise nugget. The matrix looks very much painted on. And, oh, this is interesting. Some interesting things in this one. Lots of big bobbles. Like oversized bobbles. But this one's cute. Wait, there's a pretty earring attached to it. Okay. Yeah, this one's kind of cute. I saw two really interesting books that I left behind today at the Goodwill about making beaded jewelry. And they, it looked really like using things like this. But I didn't buy it. I should have. But I didn't. I don't have time to read them. <laughs> I buy all these beautiful books and then I don't, I don't have time to read them. I really like this. This is different. This is cording and, and seed beads braided. And very, very nice beads there. And I like the colors. They're very subtle and pretty. And I'm trying to untangle this thing because this is interesting. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. This is a pretty bead necklace. Very cute. I didn't even tell you what I paid. Let me tell you because everybody wants to know. 29 I was so glad to see these prices again. 29 24 and 19 is what they had on the bags this week. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm happy to see the prices going down a little bit. I think, you know, some people are leaving them behind and then maybe they're rethinking. And it all depends on the managers. And they switch managers. 
as fast as they switch employees, regular staffers, this is a beautiful necklace, guys. This is the prettiest coral I've ever seen. And then it's got gold specks. They are faceted. They have spacers or whatever they're called in between. And they're not completely round. They're just, they're kind of, they're kind of squished down. I don't know what that shape is. But they're definitely not completely round. Yes, they do. One day they're like $50, even $60. The last one I did was $60. Now this one was $30. I adore this piece. It's plastic. But it's very well made, and I can't believe there is no maker. It almost looks like something from Chico's. Chico's has such a variety of jewelry, doesn't it? I mean, I've never been in the store, don't they? I mean, I've never been in their store, and the only Chico's I'm ever exposed to is what I see in these jewelry jars or what other people are opening up. I think this is a Hamilton. But I see such a variety of, of jewelry. Armatron. It's a little watch, worse for wear for sure. And, oh, these are cute. Not the earring, but this necklace, bracelet, whatever. This looks like vintage beads. I don't know if they were repurposed or it's tangled. Is it just in a tangle? Oh, it's busted up. It broke right there and then somebody twisted it. So I'll have to get Robert to put some, put some, what do you call it? A clasp on that. Because these are beautiful crystal beads, AB as well and then they have the little ridged gold ones and they could use a really good bath and i'll bet they'll sparkle up so cute yeah it just needs a little love and this is a wire i'm glad it's not tangled up with anything that would look nice with a pendant so we'll put that there and here's a chain that came out of, it's also, this will have to be scrapped though because you really can't repair that. It will always show. It is sterling, I believe. Yeah, it is. It's a little box. It's not even a box. It's a curb. Very nice. So I'll just put that in a little scrap lot. What a shame though. It probably popped right here in the being around the jar, the other pieces, is what happens. Okay, we have a rhinestone. Interesting, I believe this is vintage. It's got some rhinestones that are a little on the dull side. It has the box. Also, these are going to be harvested, though, because it has the missing link there. And some of these are very nice, and some of them have their lights out already. Or as they say, dead rhinestones, right? Well, that's a pretty one. That would have been a very interesting choker. I'm sure it could be salvaged, but it'll be a nice... Um, maybe I'll put that in the crafter lot. Yeah, I'm going to put that in a crafter lot. That'll be a nice thing to get in a crafter lot, I think. Let's see. There's some mesh here. A little tangle. Here's oh sterling, no alpaca. Looks more like alpaca, but I don't know. And it is onyx, on not onyx. Um, it's not even. I was thinking lapis, but it looks like satellite. And maybe it is sterling. I don't know. I'm just saying it does have some wear back here. But that you know what that is? That's the price tag. That's another thing that happens with sterling. It gets pitted. Not only when they put like those coatings to keep them shiny, sometimes certain ones pit the sterling, or when they leave those price tags on. Yeah, this is definitely soda light, don't you think? More than more than lapis, but it's nice, interesting. From India, you think? I don't know. It it kind of looks Mexican to me, but I don't think I see a mark. I don't see a mark on it. Not yet. It could be alpaca. But it's definitely soda light. You see the little white? It doesn't look like lapis as I originally thought. But it's very pretty. It's different. It's very nice. 
So that's nice. I like that. And I was trying to get this gold mesh out of here, but it's kind of tangled. It may take a while. Let's start with some beads and stuff. These are just kind of a Mardi Gras style, but they do have a clasp, but they're not, um, I don't know how they do these. They're not knotted or anything. They're interesting though. It's a pretty color, kind of a gold and black combo. So that might make a nice addition to a crafter lot. This is pretty. This is a pretty earring. It looks like amethyst. Looks like an amethyst ring there, very faint color. And this is glass as well. Did Jude come in? Hey Jude, I'm glad you're here. It's got a little bird. That's definitely amethyst at the top. And I believe the one at the bottom is some kind of a glass. That is cute. That bird looks like a fetish necklace I had. Very pretty. Hope we have the other one. Here's a earring that's kind of lightweight and pretty kind of tinny but that design is gorgeous i like it very very cool here's some denim this looks like from the 90s or 80s denim earrings there and then oh this is a pretty earring this is a mother pearl shell with some chains chain fringe there cute hope we have the matches there was not another one in a bag but they might be in the other jars that I got oh my goodness this is like ceramic beads or something in here here's another oh this one I think they were going to make earrings out of the other one too it does look like um, how light you can even see some of that white in there for sure Okay, these are interesting. I don't know. Well, they're shells is what I think they are, actually. I believe they're all shells, even the long ones. I like the noise they make. They would make nice wind chimes. I like the sound of them. Yeah, those would make beautiful wind chimes with a few more or a little mini wind chime. Those are pretty. Aren't they pretty? I think I'll put that in a crafter lot. I think that'll be nice for a crafter lot. And here's another earring, a little arrow, arrowhead there. And a hippie bracelet. Gosh, these are so popular in the jars anyway. <laughs> it's really thick leather though. But this jewelry is so popular. I'm really seeing a lot of people wear it. And with beads and all of that, but, the, you know, the leather base, I'm seeing it everywhere. Here's another shell earring. This one's cute, too. Mother pearl ring at the bottom there, a little disc. And what looks like coins, but they're just little discs, some pearls. Hope we find matches. And this was a Christmas ornament left over. Put that over here. Oh, we did get a match on this one. Great. Hey, Mary Ann Swanson, how are you? I'm so glad you're here for a live. Thank you so much. I hope you hit the bell so you can be notified when I do go live or when I get a new video up, which is going to be in a little while. I promised you that other one, and I haven't done it, but I will. I promise. Look at this. These are cute. Not very heavy. They're pretty. So glad they're matched. Those are really cute. Okay, and here is a pearl. This looks like Don's Channels here, Marianne Swanson, Jackie Reyes Jewelry Box. This is loose, so I'm going to put it in a crafter lot. Because the pearls actually feel nice, but they weren't strung very well. They're kind of loose. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, that is intricate. I think some of the chains are part of it, and some of them are not. I can't tell if this rhinestone is. They get in there, and they won't come out. I don't know about this one, because it doesn't look like it belongs with this. This looks like regular chains. 
and here's an earring stuck. Green, pretty. Let's see, here's another one. Or is it part of it? Okay, this is part of it. I don't think that rhinestone is. <laughs> I don't think that rhinestone part is part of this necklace. This this is going to have to be a crafter lot too. I don't know. I just it's pretty tangled. Maybe not. No, it does belong in there. Okay, cuz there's more than one. Okay. There it goes. Wow. It's like <laughs> it's like a competition for the most outrageous statement piece we can come up with. And then they come up with this. Look at that. That is crazy. It reminds me of vinyl records. <laughs> That's going in a crafter lot. I don't even want to untangle it to take a picture of it. Okay, we did get a match on these, so that's good. The fringe mother of pearl. Super hippie beach girl. I don't know, but they're cute. They really are. Looks like a very hot mess. <laughs> a hit mess, maybe. <laughs> that made that made a good pun, actually, if you meant it. <laughs> These are pretty. These are very nice. I think those would sell. That was very weird. Oh, this is pretty. It's a pretty earring. Very nice rhinestone dangles, and we do have a match. That's always a plus, and we have a match on that other pretty one. But let me get this one out of here. Oh my gosh, it's stuck in the bracelet. There you go. Okay, these two are cool, going in my earring lot. There it goes. They're very pretty, they're different with all of the swirlies and stuff. <laughs> Where did the science teachers class? <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's the one I borrowed the book about gems from the other day. <laughs> He's got the best books in the library. In his library. <laughs> he would probably say it was interesting. <laughs> just to be nice. <laughs> okay. This mesh, guys. Another interesting tangle. Look at that, and it's probably very long. And uh, I think I'll unhook it and see what happens there. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I think we got it. I think we're <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Which one of you guys likes to do, um, do any of you guys like to do crossword puzzles? Not crossword puzzles, jigsaw puzzles. That's what this reminds me of, and I don't like to do them, but my husband does. He could sit for hours on a puzzle. And this is what this reminds me of. I, you're, oh my gosh, you're looking at it, and then you think you got it, and then you don't really got it. You don't have it. And this is such a pretty necklace. The mesh, I love the mesh chains. But I'm not getting anywhere, guys. And we got to go to bed. Look at that. <laughs> you get the idea, though, right? Jigsaw is relaxing to me. Yeah, that's the way he feels about it. He loves them. I think that's why he likes untangling. <laughs> or he doesn't mind it. <laughs> he didn't volunteer. I made him. This is pretty, though. And it is in good condition. It just needs a little bit more detangling on the chains. But the color is nice. And it's not as heavy as you would think. It looks like it, would, it wouldn't be uncomfortable to wear. Okay, these are the earrings that we did match up as well. These really exotic ones. So I'm happy about that. I don't know where I left them, but they're around here. They're very heavy, though. But they're pretty. And we got these matched up. These are cute. These scream music festival. 
Take me to the music festival now. Very boho. All right, I don't think I showed you this. I untangled it and then I put it down. But this is a pretty bracelet. It doesn't look like anything is missing. It's very nice and it's very comfortable. It's very nice. Bar of rhinestones, black rhinestones all around. None are missing. Nicely made. Okay, again, not a very expensive jar. Oh my gosh, that's cute. That's a button. This is a good crafter piece too. <laughs> Red hot chili pepper there. Oh, this is cute. This is, oh. I think the, I think this is a, no, it's part of the bracelet. This is cute. I was thinking it was a, it was the pendant that was missing or stuck on there, but it's part of it. Look at that. That's really cute. It's wired. These are glass. They're all glass. This is some kind of a faux. No, not, yeah, it's got like a little druzy in there, a faux druzy, I suppose, or a painted one anyway. And then black pavé rhinestones. That is really kind of cute. I guess you could take it off because it does have a bail like a, you know, like a pendant more than a charm. But it is on there. I don't think they just... And it's pretty. It's an attractive bracelet. I don't know if it really needs all the rest of it like that. Because that would make a very nice pendant. Well, it is a pendant. But on the bracelet, it's a charm. Cool. That's a nice piece, too. That's glass. Little Sister Cheryl. I think I said hello to you. Thanks for being here. And Dame is here as well. Mary Ann. We got some more of these guys. I'm going to just put them in, the, in a crafter lot. Cute bangles. But they're just uh, fabric. And then we got this little charm. It looks like it was going to be at the... This should have been on that bracelet. That would be cute on the little charm. Two hearts. Okay, and then here is a alpaca. I believe this is alpaca, and it just has some kind of design there. I think it hinges on and off, yeah. Yeah, it's hallmarked right there, alpaca Mexico. These shine up nice, actually. They really do. Very heavy. We have another bit of tangles here. Maybe this was kind of cool. I've never seen this. This is an interesting bracelet. Goodness, kindness, faithfulness. Love, joy, fruit of the spirit. I'm not sure what hallmark that is or what if you guys know. It does look like a hallmark, doesn't it? Or a maker's mark. It almost looks like it has a trademark R next to it or a T. No, it's, uh, it looks like the grapes. And let me just take a quick look and see if there's any markings on the inside. It's interesting how you can, I guess, interchange it if you want. Or you could wear it like that. Like a, it, That's kind of cute. I've never seen a design like that. So it looks like you're wearing two bangles, but really you're just wearing one. That is kind of cute. Hmm. That's pretty. It looks well made. I don't see any kind of a mark, but... And it did stick, so... It did stick, so... Not precious metal, but very nice anyway. Okay, we have some... Wow, this is kind of cool. It has a flat curb, but then it has little dangles on it, like rhinestone dangles, all across the front there. So funny. And they're gold. 
but the chain is silver. But they're very well made. Hi, Darlene. I'm still watching you and Casey's video from this afternoon. I haven't finished it, but I enjoyed it thoroughly. I think it was in the middle of the upload, so I couldn't even start it from the beginning. But your room is going to look so nice. It's going to be wonderful. Happy for you to get that done. Yeah, this is kind of cute. I think I'm going to put it in the crafter lot, though. My hands are already feeling sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Okay. Oh, these are cute. These are cute post earrings. They're little nautical anchors. Blue enamel, gold tone. These are very cute. Those are really, really cute. I like that. And a little rhinestone one. Oh, we did get the match on the amethyst looking ones. Good, good, good. With the bird. So that's exciting. These right here. That's definitely an amethyst ring there. Cute. Here they are. Yeah, those are pretty. Very nice. Yes, I love it when they match. Another little bangle. Stretch bracelets. Yeah, both of them are stretched. They're pretty. I like the colors. Sort of aqua and opal colors. Very cute. Okay. This is a nice beaded one, too. It's got a southwest motif there. And I think I already pulled the match out for this one. Here's a brass colored one that feels very heavy. Hey, Bayou Treasures, how are you? We have a cute watch on, on a chain. I think it's a, looks like an Anne Klein, but maybe something else. Let's check. Let me see Trifari, a Trifari watch. I think someone pulled out a Trifari watch one time and said, I didn't know they made watches. But it is. There it is, the mark there, too. And it's very pretty. It adds to the jewelry, you know. You can uh, wear it with your bracelets. It looks nice. I used to have a really pretty gold watch with a bracelet chain like that. But it was stolen. Mm, yes, 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 it was stolen. I hate when that happens. So heartbreaking when people break into your home and steal things. All right, a little cancer. Oh, that's really interesting. It's got a puzzle piece there. Breast cancer awareness pin. We do get the match on the arrowhead gold. And we got the match on these two, the bronze colored ones. These are pretty. Kind of that brutalist. It's pretty popular. People are really selling them. I've looked them up on, on eBay, and they're, they're selling that Brutalist stuff. Whoops. Okay, I know I found this one. Found the match to this one. This one's very pretty. So, most of the earrings have matched up. That's exciting. Even the denim. Even the 1980s denim. But I think this one's broken. What a shame. Okay, we're going to put in the crafter lot. One of them is broken. Okay, well, I showed you that. That's from that's from Bougie's Prizes. <laughs> no, that came out. Oh, this is cute. This is a tiny little earring. They look like they look like those fire fire opals or something. Look at the color, really orangey. Very pretty. Hmm. Got some. Broken pieces. We have a stud there. We have some more earrings. And these are matched. These are cute. Earring lot. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, these are cute. These are very pretty. They're hammered. And then they have dangles. I like these. Yeah, I'm really into the gold tone this month. I don't know why. 
and appreciating the gold tone and gold this month and wearing it. Okay, this is a bracelet. This is nice. This looks like a quartz, I think. Feels like a natural stone. It's got a, it's on a nice bracelet, but it's tangled up. It's a hook on. This looks like a sterling. This is a sterling charm stuck in here too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, okay. So it must be sterling altogether then. Cause this is sterling. Mark there. Hi Diane Sweat, how are you? And then it says, faith, hope, believe, love, and what does it say at the bottom? Pray, I think. Or purity. Pretty? I don't know. I can't read that last one. And then the cross is pretty. It's a heart with a cross. And it's either CZs or crystals. And that's Hallmark too, right there, 925. This actually looks like a sterling hook-on bracelet too. Very cute, and I think that's like a, what do you think, guys, like a calcite crystal, or what do you call it, milk crystal? Because it's definitely opaque. It's definitely natural stones. And they put it on a nice bracelet. They made a nice sterling bracelet here. Pray, that's what it says. Faith, hope, believe, love, pray. Cute. I think I want to slip that on. I like it. I like the neutral color. It's pretty. Goes with my other ones. Okay, for now, till I list it or something. Okay, we do have one necklace here. The one that this one actually goes with the bracelet that we pulled out first, and it does have a mark on this one. It says Claire's. I have a feeling that it was supposed to be loose like that. Now let me see. Oh, this one is so pretty right here. Another pretty gold tone. And we did get a match on this one. Guys, if I didn't say hi, it's because I'm looking at the jewelry. And here's an infinity ring. I may have showed you this the other night. It seems like it popped out before. A post with a knot. This says loft, some maker from somewhere, from something else. And here is this. See, now this one isn't loose, but it's wrinkled. I think I'll put that in a bead lot. It is a little loose, but not like the bracelet was. Shiny bugle and seed beads on that. To get a match on these and here's the one that I think is really interesting this crystal one and this is from the double C's with a little rhinestone on it this is a very pretty one this really reminds me of something Kendra Scott would put out or something these are kind of opalescent type of beading on it. Three strands. Look at that. These are very pretty. All kinds of ball chains and rollo chain with little knots. This, this is gorgeous, really pretty. I still am not sure who that CC logo is from. I keep saying Charming Charlie's, but I don't believe it is because we just found a Charming Charlie's, didn't we? I don't know. Maybe it is. And it's a broken clasp. Here's another pretty chain. This is a snake chain with a knot. That's pretty. That is really pretty. Here's something. What in the world? These are some cufflinks, guys. These are from some kind of club or something. Mason, you think? Or whatever. I think these go on buttons. They almost look like sterling, actually. They may be. Yeah, I think maybe this could be the outside of the button 
or cufflink of sorts. The C mark, you like this one, Jude? This one has a sword and some kind of, I want to say a horseshoe, but it's not. So, so I'm not sure. And then it looks like enamel. It may have the match to it. Let me keep looking over here. Okay, we got a chandelier earring. Oh, we got this thing, too. Look at this huge thing. It's a druzy in here, guys, right? Look at that. Sandy, do you need this? <laughs> can I send you this so you can make something out of it? <laughs> what is it? Is Sandy in there? Yeah, I see everybody saying hi to Sandy. Look, you can see, like, black druzy stuff in there. Can you guys see it? And it's very heavy, and I have no idea what it is. Maybe Sandy can cut it up and make a beautiful ring like this. I don't know. Because I'm not going to wear it. Look, it's got a little thing hanging on it, though. It's really kind of cool. Look at that. And this has, like, little staining in it. What do you think that is, guys? Look at that. Very interesting. I'll have to send that to uh, Sandy. Maybe she can cut it up. I don't know, but this is cute, and this looks kind of witchy, kind of witchy and, and exotic, and I don't know. Maybe it's a healing stone. Where's Vicki Porter? So she can tell us it feels so good and cold, and this looks like it has a blood stain running through it. I don't know. It's like a red vein through it. Y'all see it? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, most definitely on the odd side, I would say, for sure. For sure. Oh, we did get this one that I thought were kind of like um, Mexican fire opals. or no, What are they called? I forgot. But they're that really rich orangey color, like my ring that I showed you the other day when I did the bubble bath. The bobble bath, rather. That's what they look like. And we did get a match. So that's cool. Do you get a match on these? And I think that's it. I believe that is all of the jewelry. Thank you so much, April, for the beautiful gifts in this beautiful trinket box. I did show the finds from Sandy at her auction and from Kelly at Hip Flip and Mama and from Miss Autumn Grace as well. And Creative Lori in this beautiful ring that I adore. I'll be staying up late with her again. I will definitely be staying up late with her again, but I will turn off my phone next time <laughs> and see if I don't get in more trouble. Anyways, that's a long story. We'll talk about that on Sunday. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And have a great